right, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have installed Dragon's Dogma 2 and have launched it at least once. Uh, if you're anywhere in the game, hopefully you're not too far if you've come across this video because this video is very important if you don't want to have to pay to remake your character. Uh, so once you've done that, go ahead and just minimize Steam and we're going to head over to this website right here. Uh, and this is a Nexus uh, website here. This is for a mod manager. Shout out to Fluffy Quack for getting this uh, together. You do need the mod manager for this to work, uh, but that's really, really easy. Just go ahead and go into files and manual download. I'll have the link down in the description for this as well. And once that finishes downloading, go ahead and open it up right here. And uh, it should give you this zip folder right here when you download it. Um, if you don't have the zip folder, I have no idea what you did wrong because we just downloaded this. So anyway, go ahead and double click it. If you have 7-zip or WinRAR, it should open up in this uh, folder right here. If you don't, hopefully it still let you into the folder. Uh, but regardless, I can't really help you if you don't have either of those. So um, anyway, go ahead and uh, right click on your desktop right here. And we're just going to create a brand new folder. It doesn't matter what you name it. You can call it whatever you want to. Uh, this is just for the mod manager. And we're just going to drag and drop this from the zip folder that opened into this new folder. We are extracting it into that folder. So once that's extracted, go ahead and run the updater. This is just to make sure that you have the most recent version of this mod manager here in case you're watching this video in the future. Right now, I don't have anything uh, because the mod manager just came out. It's in version 1.01. .01. So uh, after that's all closed out, go ahead and just double click on the mod manager to open it up and you should get this window here now this window is important it's just going to ask you what game you want uh, we want dragon's dogma 2 that's why we're here and as soon as you select that you can go ahead and close this out as it's created everything we need for it and the next step we're going to go into that new folder that we created on the desktop we're going to open up games we should see a new folder here for dragon's dogma 2. we're going to double click on that we're also going to go into mods right here and this is what's going to bring us to our next section here, which is the early and cheap art of metamorphosis mod. Now, this mod was made by Silver as Redis. Shout out to him. Uh, he went ahead and said, hey, we are tired of paying money to be able to do stupid things in a game. Uh, why do we have to pay money for an item? So he just goes ahead and gives you this item right here in the very beginning of the game. At the very first uh, shop, you can buy the... Uh, Art of Metamorphosis, it's very cheap and it's just, you know, a small amount of gold. So if that's what you're into, go ahead and click on files right here. We're going to manually download this and we're going to go ahead and open up this right here. So again, we have another zip folder. We're going to double click to open it and it's going to give us these files right here. When we open that, we need to extract these into the mods folder for Dragon's Dogma 2. Now this is the mods folder again, that's inside the mod manager. This is not the actual game folder. So keep that in mind. But once you've drag and dropped this into games, dragons, dogma two and mods, uh, it should be all ready to go. So once we have that all done, let's go ahead and back right out. We'll reopen the mod manager and you'll see it just popped up right here. Silver art of metamorph. We'll check it to make sure that it's installed and we'll launch the game. And you guys should be good from there. So unfortunately, I don't have a way to show off this working immediately. I am way too far in the game for me to be able to be anywhere close to this. Uh, however, I will be playing around with it and I will not post this video if it doesn't work. So I do want to thank you all so much for watching. If you guys liked this video and it helped you a lot, make sure to leave that that like on that like button that tells other people that this video was good and helpful. Uh, if you guys are looking for other players that, you know, maybe you're interested in Dragon's Dogma and you want to talk about the game, be sure to check out our Discord down below. Uh, there is a link down there. We have a good looking for gamer uh, style community there and a lot of cool things going on. But again, I do want to thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys have fun with this amazing game.